Have you ever pondered the unimaginable existence dictated not by your own will but by the color of your skin? Allow me to introduce Peter, a man ensnared by the shackles of slavery in 1863, laboring ceaselessly in the unforgiving cotton fields alongside his wife, Doden, and their children. His life, like countless others, was an unyielding cycle of toil and adversity, subject to the whims of his white masters. The day that shattered his world arrived suddenly, like a thunderbolt from the heavens. Peter received the devastating news that he was to be sold to a new owner. With a heavy heart, he spent his final moments with his family, their prayers mingling with the echoes of his children's pleas. Despite his fierce resistance, when the white men threatened harm to his loved ones, Peter's resolve waned, and he was forcibly separated from his family, solemnly vowing to return as they tearfully chased after him. Imagine being torn from your loved ones and thrust into a world even crueler than the one you knew. This was the grim reality that awaited Peter, as he found himself amidst the horrors of a railroad construction site, a place where the brutality knew no bounds. Here, slaves were regarded as less than human, their lives deemed of lesser value than the very dirt they toiled upon. The grim reminder of punishment, displayed through the hanging heads of those who dared to defy their masters, loomed ominously at the entrance. Slaves were herded into cages at night, their bodies weary from toil, their spirits crushed under the weight of relentless oppression. Yet even amidst such brutality, Peter refused to surrender his dignity or humanity. He became a beacon of hope in this desolate landscape, a man who defied the attempts to break his spirit. Peter's strength emanated not from physical prowess, but from an unyielding faith in a better tomorrow. He offered solace to his fellow slaves, reminding them of their loved ones and urging them to view their present suffering as a temporary trial. Even in the face of mockery, Peter invoked the word of God, his faith unwavering in the belief that miracles were possible, even in the darkest of times. 